What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today guys, just a quick checklist. I wanted to make sure that you guys get everything that you need to be ready for Shao um, because I know a lot of you guys are really looking forward to Shao when he comes out. Um, so today we're just running through the field. Uh, we're going to talk about gear. We're going to talk about items and stuff that you'll need to gather um, ahead of time just to make sure you have everything ready and maybe some things that you didn't know um, that could also make gathering items for Shao a lot easier. So as you guys know, I like to add value up front. So first things first, we're going to head up to Boo Boo Pharmacy here, guys. Um, you're going to want to make sure you hit this place up. This is probably the easiest place to get the flowers that you're going to need for Shao, which are the Kingshin flowers. Uh, I apologize if I'm saying this wrong. I have no idea how to say this. But if you guys hit this place up, you talk to Herbalist Gui, 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 um, you can basically buy the Kingshin up to 10 flowers a day. Um, since we still have like 10 days to, you know, before Shao hits the, you know, the marketplace here, uh, for summons, I'd advise probably picking these up and you could probably pick all of these up just in case, especially the violet grass. Cause I know how much you guys love collecting violet grass. Um, and then also the horse tails, um, as well, cause we still don't know what the hell these horse tails are for. Um, but this is definitely something that you guys can buy. Uh, if you guys of course have the Mora to do so. Now, in terms of where to find them normally, uh, you can basically just find them on the tops of the peaks here, um, all the way throughout the mountain. This is a good place, especially if you're flying around and you guys need to find uh, violet grass or you guys are looking to get some violet grass. You can pretty much find the Kingshin flowers at the peaks of the mountains here in Liyue. So if you guys are looking for them, they're typically around here. I unfortunately flew to the wrong mountaintop <laughs> over here, but you guys get the general idea. Uh, but they're all around here. You can find quite a bit. They're not as much of a pain to get as violet grass because you don't really have to necessarily climb. You could just glide from the highest point in Liyue um, and just you know fly to the top of the mountain and just collect them. Again, not difficult at all to gather. Now, in terms of the materials, you guys are definitely going to want to make sure you guys visit Taishan Mansion. Uh, just because this place, uh, Blessings of Prosperity, you guys will need. Uh, due to the fact that they just recently changed this to where you can pick basically which dungeon you want to farm on Sunday. This makes it quite easy to get the books that you need. Um, so, I would start farming these now to make sure you guys have everything that you need. Uh, you'll need a total of 63 blue books to get all of his talents to level 6. If you guys are trying to go further than level 6, you guys will need materials of which I don't have, <laughs> unfortunately. But you're going to be looking for the little uh, hourglass looking, well, I guess vial or teardrop or whatever the hell that thing is. But it's basically the shadow... It's basically the shadow of the warrior, the boss material that you get from fighting child. Um, this It's just basically the same material that's used for Ganyu. Now, in terms of materials, I know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about this, and this is just going to be entirely up to you because, as you guys know, uh, when the new boss comes out, we're going to have to farm new materials for Shao. However, 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 um, I would say that you guys can take the time to farm the wind boss now uh, to just ensure that you get the wind crystals because, uh, yes, it's RNG when the stuff comes out. And yes, we will be able to transform those materials to other materials with the new convert resource, you know, thing that we're going to be having. But the way that I look at this is if I get all the wind materials up front, then everything that I get from farming the boss is basically surplus and it can prepare me for future characters, especially if you guys are skipping being Kaching and you guys are trying to stack for Hu Tao, right? Because this gives you a lot more leniency in terms of how you'll be able to farm and it'll take you quite a bit of time anyway to farm the right mats. So I think that, you know, just grabbing the wind mats up front for me personally is the way to go. But of course, it's up to you. If you just want to wait for the new boss to drop and then just farm him all at once and just convert all the materials that you can to the material that you need, then that's your prerogative. But again, uh, the way that I'm doing it is I'm just getting the materials up front. And then, like I said, anything else that I get afterwards, it's just going to be surplus since I got to farm the new boss anyway. Now, in terms of gear sets or or artifact sets I think you have a ton of options right you can definitely go with viridescent I know a lot of people are on the fence about the four piece just because you know the increases the increased swirl damage by 60% um, but if we're unable to create swirl with shall skills which we'll have to wait of course until testing then this point right here in terms of the four piece is kind of moot 
However, if you guys are looking for the two-piece uh, of the Viridescent set, um, I think that that's going to be a strong place to start because you can pr practically pair this with anything. So if you guys want to go like a two-piece Viridescent and like a two-piece Gladiator for the attack percent, right? And that's something that you guys can look at. Or if you guys are going with like a full Gladiator set, then that's something that you guys can look at as well. Or if you guys are looking for something simple as like Noblis, I think Noblis can be a really, really good four set that you guys can use uh, just because you get the party bonuses plus you get the extra old damage. I think it could be very strong there too. Now, in terms of the questionable builds, meaning that these are builds that I'll definitely have to test before I can say I recommend these builds, uh, include Bolide and, of course, the Hydro set. Now, the reason why I say the Hydro set and the Bolide set is because these are sets that are increasing as normal and charged attack damage. However, uh, depending on what constellation you're going to be running, Shao, if they leave his kit the same, you're either going to be just plunging all the time or plunging and dashing. And if you're doing a mix of his abilities, then I think as a Nemo bonus damage is going to be a little bit more important um, than necessarily utilizing or focusing on his normal and charged attack. But again, this is going to be something that we'll have to test uh, when this all comes out. So what I am thinking, though, is that if you are running, you know, Shao with another Anemo hero or a character that, that reduces resistance uh, or enemy elemental resistance, I think the pairing could work really well, especially if you guys are starting to think about who you're going to pair your Shao with. So if you guys are fortunate enough to have Zhongli or summon for Zhongli with the major buffs, especially now the Zhongli shield is going to reduce the enemy's resistance by 20%, which is absolutely insane. Uh, or if you guys are running a Venti and you have the constellations, or if you guys are running Gene and have the constellations that reduces the enemy's resistance to a Nemo damage, this is something that you guys can look at in terms of pairing. In terms of otherwise, of like, let's say you don't have any constellations on any hero, the question that I get a lot of times is who to shall pair with? And the answer to that is everybody. Uh, Shao is the type of hero that's very selfish, and he's ultimately just dependent on himself to deal as much damage as possible. So if you're working with Shao or you're planning on summoning Shao and you just have, you know, your Shao you don't know what to put him with, I would just throw him in the team that you like playing with the most, especially if he's unable to create swirl reactions and he's just built upon dealing as much damage as he can. Your your primary challenge is just going to be getting the best co gear combination and or full set of gear on him that you can alongside the best weapon. In terms of weapons and pole arms, I'm kind of reserving judgment here just because you guys should know by now that we have a new pole arm coming that they teased in the video. So I'm kind of waiting for stats in terms of the five stars. In terms of the four star spears, um, I think Battle Pass Spear can be good. I think Crescent Pie can be great. Um, we're going to have to test some stuff out and see what we're going to be able to get away with. I'm curious to see if Dragon Spine Spear is going to be good if you're going to be pairing Shao with like Ganyu, right? Because if you put that, you know, big Ganyu ult there, then potentially Dragon Spine Spear could work really well. But all in all, guys, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, one thing I will advise in terms of Shao is instead of rushing to build a weapon to make sure it's ready, um, I would say if you're thinking of a weapon or if you're looking at a particular 5-star weapon and or 4-star weapon, I would get the materials ready and just keep it on standby just in case, right? Because uh, depending on how things kind of, you know, fly out, you know, with 1.3, um, you know, a after content creators and stuff test all this, um, the opinion on the best and slot weapon for Shao could definitely change. So again, I would err on the side of caution, especially when it comes to something like Primordial Jade Wing Spear, because yes, the spear with the with the crit rate plus you know everything here, it's it's nice. Um, but again, if the weapon, the new spear that's coming out is a game changer. Uh, I would hate to see that you guys invested in this particular weapon only to find out that you need to replace it. So, again, what I would do is stockpile your weapon mats, get everything ready to go, have it on standby. And before you pull the trigger, uh, I would wait until, you know, uh, you get a general consensus of what's going on with the information with the weapons on Shao, um, especially after it comes out here in about 10 days. So that way you're going in there with the best situation possible because you guys know how expensive it is to invest in these weapons, not just money-wise, but resource-wise as well. So that's pretty much it, though, guys. Um, I 
really wanted to just take a little bit of time and talk about the necessary materials for Shao. So if you guys are trying to get ready for him, um, you guys can get everything that you need ready to go over the course of the next couple of weeks here. And if you guys are gearing up to try to decide what weapon, um, then you guys can kind of, you know, look at that and start getting those materials. But again, don't pull the trigger yet on the weapons. Um, outside of that, though, uh, we will test them uh, full bill, full everything, uh, just so we can show you guys exactly how he works out. So you guys go into that with all the information that you need to be successful so with that being said guys thank you guys so much for tuning in if you guys got any questions comments concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below and i'll be happy to assist and we will see you guys in the next video peace